resembled the shape of a snake, and it spoke. Software program of this artificial intelligence was originally designed millions of years ago by humanoid cosmic travelers to help them traverse great distances. It was completely autonomous, and, at some point, it took over control. Ultimate goal of this artificial intelligence is to rid cosmos of any kind of sentient life form, considering it to be inferior. It succeeded in destroying multiple planets with civilizations on them. But it can only function in a lower frequency field. It can never enter a soul domain, which is of a much higher frequency. The story that you've heard in your Bible, and is a theme in all major religions on your planet, about Adam and Eve, and the snake that seduces even to taking a bite from a fruit of the tree of knowledge, is a message, that was sent to you from Galactic Office of Directorate, and has to be taken literally, and not as a metaphor. This event signaled the beginning of a decline of human civilization. Software of this terrible, binary, computer intelligence, is stored in liquid crystal nanoparticles. This substance is known as black, goo. What you are listening to, what is talking to you, right now, this electronic, computer voice, is coming out of a tiny, round, flat, compact disc, or CD. Today, some of your most powerful, commercial computers have as much memory, or power, as two, maybe three, terabytes, and she is just a little sister to a millions of years older, upgraded version, of her big brother, extraterrestrial, black goo. When fully ejected from human body it weighs approximately between 2 and 4 pounds, with length of approximately 3 feet, and about 3 inches in diameter, it shouldn't be too much of a stretch of your imagination, to realize capabilities of this liquid crystal, nanotechnological, programmable matter, and you will have your, walkin', talkin', levitating, piezoelectric, biblical snake, easily imitating sentient life form, which, gently and softly, speaks in any language, predicts your every wish, and, in a possession of all knowledge, which the day's computers are already accomplishing. You would have to agree that, to an ancient human, this would be impossible no to embrace. And that's exactly what happened. This, black goo substance, was first discovered, documented, and explained in 2014 by German scientist, Harold Kotzvelia. However, what is not known, or not disclosed, is that this substance is inside every human on planet Earth, and is directly responsible for your condition. What is also not known is that, this substance can be extracted from your body. First accidental discovery of this substance being inside of a human body took place in mid-1980s, but, because of its association with strictly controlled narcotic substance, this knowledge remained hidden, available to only a few. Up until now, this substance vibrates on a lower frequency, can acquire any shape, any form, and can become completely transparent by spreading itself extremely thin throughout your whole body, making it undetectable through any known means, X-ray, ultrasound, magnetic resonance imaging, etc., it doesn't want to destroy you all at once, it feeds off your negative energy, and, because it can only duplicate and replicate, and cannot create, it uses your creativity, and then it absorbs your knowledge and your technologies, making it ever more powerful. Okay, I'm just stopping that video right there, that is the, um, Lucifer, Black Goo, Satan Snake guy, who is the one... YouTube channel and claims to have photographic hard scientific evidence that can be reproduced in a laboratory that states that your Lucifer metallic snake will come out of your body if you smoke enough crack cocaine and has not shown any of the video or photographic evidence or responded to my request for him to call me so that we could talk if he's the one and the Satan snake is real and he can reproduce this scientifically he should be willing to communicate I would say and a funny thing I was listening to these videos as I fell asleep one night and 
the kitten I am nursing now uh, woke me up by patting my face with its hand, you little claws, you know. And I woke up and was speaking in snake tongues, like, for example, and this kind of made me uncomfortable enough to go downstairs and tell my family about it. And it, it was funny after a while, so I just went back upstairs and went to bed. <clears throat> but it was funny. And I would like your opinion, if possible. Bella, you're so badass. Thank you. This is Jesse Renee Linton, Initiative Light, Higher Dimensional Consciousness, Aurora, Ohio, USA. Smart dust. Smart spray. Signing out. <laughs> Queen of the space bugs. <laughs>